Hello everyone and welcome to Greg's Garage. I'm your host, Greg White. If you've seen the show before, you know that we've done a story on Raleigh Eurobike. It's a gathering of European motorcycles, cafe racers, scooters, doesn't matter, in downtown Raleigh, North Carolina. Now, each year we've done it, there's been a particular motorcycle maker that's caught my eye. It's Johan Kaiser from Moto Motivo. So recently I stopped by Moto Motivo to check out his place and to find out more information about Moto Motivo, how it got started and some of the creations he's done over the years. And it was quite surprising, not only the visit with Johan, but also what's gonna happen with Greg's garage. Check this out. Because of the downfall in the economy in 2008, uh, my main business at that stage was importing GT40 replicas from South Africa and with the downturn of the economy, the cars became too expensive, we, we couldn't sell them. So uh, my motorcycle hobby uh, changed into my main income, I had to do it. And uh, now the business has completely flipped around. The motorcycles is the main income and the GD40 business is uh, additional, that's bonus. My first motorcycle, my dad bought me when I was seven years old. We lived on a farm in South Africa and um, he found a little Villiers Corgi motorcycle. Um, they used it in the Second World War to drop them out of planes for the paratroopers, it's little fold fold up two stroke little that was my first bike and um, my dad used to ride motorcycles both my granddads used to ride uh, my grandfather on my dad's side met his wife while riding a bike my dad met his wife riding a bike and I met my wife riding a motorcycle so um, it's in the blood um, you know, from there on, my dad always encouraged me to, to fix stuff. He would buy me a, a broken motorcycle and say, okay, get it running. And that's, that's how it started. Eventually, it, um, I went into dirt bike riding. I was very fortunate to be sponsored by Fantic in 1984, full factory ride on a uh, Fantic trails bike. I did that for quite a few years and then from Fantic it went on to Ducatis. I had quite a nice collection of Ducatis before we moved out of, it, out of South Africa to the States. To be loud, creating something that looks great, uh, not only nice to ride but also nice to look at. I'm very passionate about looks, functional looks, not just uh, something that looks great, but something that you can enjoy riding to. I like Italian stuff, I like um, Ducatis, I like Moto Guzzi's, Bermuda's, uh, Italian motorcycles. I had a, a call one day from an uh, Austrian guy that wanted a um, Ducati F1 Boulder Door uh, replica. You can't buy those, there's only two of them in the world and obviously they're in museums, so um, we took a Super Sport, changed it into a, a F1 Tribute bike with all the factory decals on it. With my work with uh, the GT40s, CAV is the only company in the world that can use the Gulf Oil uh, paint scheme and decals on a car. We license through Gulf Oil. Because of that, I thought, you know, Gulf Oil custom Ducati would look nice, so I built one of them, created a lot of interest on the internet and eventually built another one after that. I like doing tribute bikes, we're going to build a, a Yamaha 350TZ tribute bike um, for a customer. We're going to do a Bermota uh, DB1 uh, tribute bike using Bermota parts but not the original DB1 frame. Did a BMW? just because somebody said you can't do anything nice with a BMW and you know that triggered my itchy fingers and uh, we did a very nice BMW. We're busy building a plastic maggot at the moment. It's gonna make it a very cool motorcycle. Uh, it's 
So there's always something interesting, different going on in the show. We will use most probably the wheels, the tank, the motor, uh, the swing arm. Thank you.